Welcome back, Doctor. I'm not telling you anything. We know what you were doing out there, in that blood-stained concrete torture box. You don't know anything. As doctors, we took an oath to protect human life and limit suffering. I understand that sometimes those two goals conflict with each other. You have no idea what you're talking about. This is a war zone, Dr. Mallard, not some comfortable morgue in Washington, D.C. Things work differently here. I have spent more than my fair share of time in a war zone, Dr. Marx, and I once watched a man tortured to the brink of death repeatedly. It was my job to keep him alive so that his tormentor could extend his suffering. I refused and instead ended his suffering and his life. Much as I suspect you did for the victims out at that dreadful facility. You have your facts wrong. Why don't you correct me then? I am a doctor. I save lives and end suffering. End of story. You were torturing people at that warehouse. No, never. That's not good enough. I would never intentionally inflict suffering on another human being. I'm not a torturer, Agent Gibbs. We saw the inside of your warehouse. We know what you and Husker were doing out there. He ordered me. He made me inject them with sodium pentothal so they wouldn't resist his questions. Then he ordered me to nurse them back to health, just as Dr. Mallard described from his own experiences. He wanted to extend their pain. But I never tortured anyone. It was always Captain Husker. I did as I was ordered. I eased their pain, reduced their suffering as best I could. Who were these people? Iraqi civilians, mostly. Need something more specific. They were all Iraqi civilians. People he picked up off the street who he suspected as having ties to terrorists. So you killed them? I tried to help them. Help them? I didn't kill them. I, I did as I was ordered. I eased their pain, reduced their suffering as best I could. We also found the succinylcholine. No, it's not something... It, he was inflicting terrible, unspeakable things. I couldn't let him keep doing that. Not to anyone. So I injected the succinylcholine instead of the sodium pentothal. But he found out. Yeah, he did. So you killed him, too? Yes, he found out. But no, I didn't kill him. Your autopsy proved that the commander was killed by a lethal injection of succinylcholine. You injected him. And as he was dying, you hit him over the head to finish him off. It wasn't like that. When he found out, he threatened me. Asked me if I wanted to trade places with one of the victims. I was scared. He came at me. I already had a syringe, so I injected him. But he was strong. He fought back. What's the matter, Tony? Oh, caffeine crash. I don't know how the Gibbs man does it, but if coffee is his secret weapon, count me out. I mean, I like coffee as much as the next guy, but Gibbs is inhuman. How much did you lose by? It doesn't matter how many more he drank than me, okay? A lot, a whole lot. 
Like you're one to talk. You don't even drink real coffee, just that little soft drink. I'd like to see you try to switch to a real man's brew. Then we'll see who's laughing. You know, Tony, there's actually more caffeine in calf pow per ounce than in your typical cup of coffee. In fact, even with the latest coffee brewing technology, there is no way, either physical or chemical, to squeeze that much caffeine out of a coffee bean. You'd have to artificially add caffeine to reach the same levels, and that's not even counting the ginseng, vitamin B, and other stimulants in calf pow. Very nice, McGee. So what are you saying? They're saying you're the only one who can't hang with the boss. Three fingers scotch, one cube of ice. My friend is gonna stick with his soda. And I don't blame you. Looks like a nasty bruise on your arm. You put away one too many last night and take a spill? Astute as always, Mr. Denotso. To the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Must be my breakfast. Mr. Donoso, you are under arrest. Gibbs. Agent Gibbs, this is Commander Premus calling from Iraq. What do you need, Commander? It's Dr. Marks. Yeah? She was found dead in her cell early this morning. The acting base doctor said she was strangled to death. What's up, boss? Dr. Marks was found dead this morning. Strangled. Thought I didn't have access. It's need to know. And now you need to know. So let's hear it. Naval intelligence was running a sting operation in Iran, posing as weapons dealers. A black ops team made contact with a terrorist cell just outside of Amadan. Their mission was to identify the leadership and eradicate the entire cell. Let me guess, they screwed up. In so many words, yes. How? Things didn't go as planned. Before they could track and eliminate the terrorists, the officer in charge of the op was killed. The CO was murdered, so the op failed. Exactly. There's something else. What? This morning, two deep cover Navy SEALs were found murdered in their Dubai hotel room. SECNAV has requested our help in investigating their murders and securing their assets. And the SEALs are related to the Sting? That is what we believe. How? That's what I want you to find out. Anything else? Anthony Dinozo Sr. was arrested this morning. In Dubai. My father? What's the charge? I don't know. It's out of our jurisdiction. And Dubai hasn't been as agreeable sharing information lately, considering what's been going on in the Middle East. Dinozo, David, grab your gear. You're going to Dubai. Dinozo. Seals first, then your father. Understood. Ducky, you're on body detail. Ziva, check for signs of a struggle. 
Seals often use high security laptops. If they had one, we need to find it. What is this? There is something under this cabinet. Tony, could you help me move this cabinet? You're welcome, Ziva. Now let us see what is under this cabinet. There is some strange substance on it. Looks like blood, but better get Abby to confirm it. There is also a fingerprint on it. The SEAL's laptop. Great. Now what? Where did this broken piece of mirror come from? Ziva, you check the bathroom. Ziva, you check the bathroom. Body done. Now I will take a picture of the other. The bullet must have gone straight through and lodged in the wall. A bullet hole. Great. Now what? There is a piece of this mirror missing. This mirror has been shattered. I think that is all the evidence I will need to prove there was a struggle here.
This door has been shut. There is still a bullet lodged inside. I am good. A cell phone. I should photograph all of these. Thank you for taking photos, Eva. It seems a bullet penetrated the sofa. Oh. A cell phone. Two victims, two cell phones. I believe that is all of them. That is all of them. I am finished. The SEAL's laptop. Great. Now what? A bullet hole. Got it. Boss, it's me. What do you got? We found two cell phones and an encrypted laptop that are longing for a wild foursome with McGee. Is that a joke? Yes. Though, apparently not a very good one. I'll let McGee know. Boss? Boss. Hmm. That's strange. He hung up on me. Actually, on second thought, not strange at all.
The SEALs were receiving phone calls from an overseas phone number that originated in Iraq. And guess who that number is registered to? Captain J.J. Husker. The SEALs' field reports are heavily encrypted, but from what I can decode, they repeatedly make mention of a Gentech Dynamics. These SEALs were definitely working for Captain Husker. Thanks, McGee. I'll be talking to Abby if you find anything else. Seal's tattoos are exactly the same as the one Captain Husker and Commander Birch had. That means they were all in the same Black Ops unit.
I got a match. These fingerprints definitely, without a doubt, 100% came from Lieutenant Nate Levine, the seal found in the bathroom. This is human blood, but it's not from either of the murdered seals. What do you got, Abs? Well, I've got fingerprints from Lieutenant Nate Levine on the mirror shard, and a blood sample here that doesn't match anyone we know. Let's put it all together on the deduction board. Let's see what we can find. Why don't you explain it to me, Abs? Found what we were looking for. Why don't you explain it to me, Abs? Okay. Check this out. Why don't you explain it to me, Abs? Well, Gibbs, it works like this. What does that mean, Abs? Oh, come on, Gibbs. I know you see what I see. Gibbs, Nate Levine and Patrick Swift were reporting directly to Captain Husker. Something they were involved with got them killed. Where are you going? Director Vance. What's going on in Dubai? You mean the World Financial Congress? You know what I mean, Leon. The event is a highly visible target with a lot of high-profile people. Echelon has picked up chatter that has led naval intelligence to believe it will be a target for a terrorist attack. But why Dubai? Why now? Like I told you, it has to do with the failed sting operation in Iran. You mean Captain Husker's operation? 
The failed sting operation in Iran has led us to Dubai, though J.J. Husker was not involved. You're lying to me, Leon. Those SEALs had orders from Husker. All right, Gibbs. Husker went off the reservation. He was using the sting operation to try and extort extra money from the terrorists. It backfired. And not only did it get him killed, but the plutonium they were using as bait ended up in the wrong hands. What else do you know about J.J. Husker? J.J. stands for James Johnson. The name Husker was a cover, one given to him by the Navy when he began running black ops. Captain Johnson, related to Dustin Johnson, the guard killed in the Lucky Card Casino? Father and son. So their deaths are related? No doubt about it. Yeah. Gibbs, I've just made the most interesting discovery. There was something lodged under the fingernail of one of our dead seals, a wax or polymer of some kind. I've sent it up to Abby for testing. Thanks, Doc. I'll go see her. This is some sort of petrochemical, though an unusual one. It has a lot in common with other carbon-based substances normally used as a coating on fabrics to make them What do you got, Abs? Gibbs, this is weird. I've never come across this particular chemical before. I mean, the concept is familiar, but the actual substance is new to me. Maybe McGee can come up with more information on it. Thanks, Abs. Denozo. Hey, boss. I'm just about... Have you spoken to your father yet? Already at the prison. Just keep your head in the game. Don't let your father derail you. Understood. <laughs> <laughs> 